Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to fight MODOK. Now, MODOK's been in the contest for many years, at least two years, and I thought I had already made this video. But someone asked, and I went to look, and sure enough, I had not made this video. I probably made a different video that had the same content that I was thinking of um, splitting off and uh, making this video, but I just never did. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at MODOK's abilities. Now, for the purposes of the strategies that I'm going to talk about during the gameplay, a lot of these don't matter, but I want you to see what MODOK has going on so that you can understand the reasons for the strategies and if possible, create your own strategies on how to fight him. But I'll try to cover the most common ways to fight MODOK. All right. So, you know, signature ability doesn't really matter. You can look at that. This flux passive before the AI recently started to uh, intercept with specials, MODOK could do that. OK, uh, he acted very randomly and he was very annoying, still is. But we just have a lot of counters for him now. All right. So you can see the uh, different things that uh, MODOK can get here. Now, this force field passive, this is what makes him so annoying for a lot of people. OK, so basically he has a force field charge. He starts to fight with a force field charge. Uh, when you hit him, he will auto block, remove that charge. It's not supposed to pa um, trigger parry, but there was a bug a while ago where it was triggering parry, but that's been fixed for a while now, so you don't have to worry about that. But you do need to keep that in mind. You hit him while he has that uh, charge up, he's going to auto block. All right. And you can take a look at the rest of his abilities here. Uh, they don't really matter for the purposes of this video on how to fight him all right so now let's go over to some gameplay and i will talk to you about some of the counters and the basic strategy when fighting modok all right so right off the bat you see that he starts with that uh force field charge that we mentioned earlier that's that blue icon that you see right there while this is up your next hit that would have made contact on him will result in an auto block unless you have a true strike champion. Now, something else to note is that that shield, once it goes down, will be back in seven seconds. Every seven seconds, it's gonna pop back up as you see there. And you will notice throughout the fights that MODOK will often fire a special or a heavy to coincide with when that shield is going to go back up. So one strategy is to only do three hit combos. So when you see the field up, you're going to want to hit him one time, back off. Then you're free to hit a five hit combo if he's aggressive enough and you have enough time. But to be safe, once it goes down, just do a three hit combo and back off. Now, you are going to need to learn how to evade MODOK's special one. His special two is not that bad to evade. His special one can catch you if you're not careful because it has different timings based on your position to MODOK. All right, so Warlock took him down pretty easily, but we're going to see some other fights, some other counters uh, to MODOK. This is my favorite counter to MODOK. Archangel doesn't even need to fire specials if he doesn't want to. All you got to do is parry heavy. Now, of course, this is more challenging if MODOK is on a stun immune node. Some of these strategies won't work. We've got somebody that does pretty well against MODOK, even if they are on a stun immune node. But Archangel does quite well uh, on either case. You don't have to parry and then heavy, uh, but... If you can get those neurotoxins on, you can take him down. Uh, notice that I am fighting a 565 MODOK with my three stars. Uh, these are just duels and it 
hopefully will show you uh, different techniques. You're watching what I'm doing and you're listening to what I'm saying. All right, now this guy here, Captain America Infinity War has high block proficiency. And so on a stun immune node, you can take a lot of blocked hits. And in that case, you wanna bait out Modox heavies. So you would go in, you know, hold your block, let him hit into your block. Either he'll fire the heavy off or he'll fire a special off. Sometimes the AI will do that. You want to hit once to get rid of the uh, force field charge, then hold block again, bait out another heavy, and then go in. Only three hit combos and wash, rinse, and repeat. Now you'll notice that I'm also able to fire off heavies. Heavy attacks, he can't auto block. So that's yet another way to break down Modoc. If you see that force field and you're able to parry, then just parry heavy your way to victory. But you're gonna still have to learn how to evade that special. You have a little bit of a delay in when you have to dash back if you're up really close. Okay, and further away, it's much easier. Kind of like Yellow Jackets. All right, so this next fight is with Killmonger. Now, I talked about the True Strike. Killmonger can get True Strike if he evades and goes right in and attacks his opponent while they're still recovering from a special. So he's got True Strike up now and you see the auto block failing, okay? You see the uh, buff up and I'm able to attack without any difficulty. So champions that have True Strike are great counters against Moda. You don't have to worry about the different strategies. You just need to know how to evade his specials, okay? You can bait out heavies, as you saw me doing. Uh, you can bait out his special ones, evade that. If you want to go ahead and try and push him to a special two, you can do that as well. Uh, but Killmonger also is a great option against Modoc. Um, but anyone, anyone that has a uh, true strike. Uh, also, if you have someone else that has a strong heavy attack, uh, Corvus does extremely well. You can heavy this guy to death. Uh, you already saw Captain America Infinity War with his strong heavy. Um, you've got Hyperion. Hyperion does very well against Modoc. Remember that heavy attacks cannot be blocked. So you can go ahead and fire those off. Now, what you saw me doing there at the end, Modoc has a very bad block proficiency. So don't be afraid to hit into his block if he doesn't have a special. If he already has a special ready, don't do it. All right, this last fight is my crowning achievement. I say that because I only recently got Black Widow Clairvoyant as a five star, and I'm still learning to play her. And this was a very challenging fight for me. I did several attempts, and I always made one mistake. And with a three star, that's usually all you get. You know, you might be able to recover I usually was not able to recover from a single mistake because I usually got wrecked really, really hard. All right, but in this fight, you will see me doing some of what I was talking about. Uh, you'll see me doing three hit combos. If I don't think that the timer that I have in my head is up, I will just do three hits and back off. And I'll wait for the uh, force field charge to appear again. And then I'll hit him once back off and then try to bait a special uh, uh, or a heavy attack or something. I might even take some hits on my block in order to get in a nice five hit combo. If he wasn't really that aggressive, then I'm going to still do just a three hit combo, possibly a two hit, uh, depending on what the timer in my head says. And if I lost track of it, then I'm going to want to do one, two, back off until the uh, force field goes back up and then I can uh, reset and start doing it all over again. All right, but Black Widow Clairvoyant does this fight pretty decently. Now, the strategy that I chose to go with with her is I first cycled through all of her phases. So you end with a light attack and you go into her different curses. She starts in blood, 
So that took care of my double edge of suicide. I switch and she goes into this poison one where that makes her immune to poison and that took care of the liquid courage mastery. Then there's one where she's incinerate and then I cycle right back to blood. In blood, she's able to regain a lot of health on that special two. And in this fight, that's what I wanted. I wanted her sustainability. I fired off one special three, but mainly I wanted to cycle special twos. All right, but as you can see, that's gonna do it guys. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you're struggling with MODOK, take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.